All right. All right, so we're going to talk about debunking some common myths and misconceptions about building an app. So we're just going to look at the top four. And uh, uh, I thought this uh, title was a little uh, unfun. So I thought it would be much cooler if we call it Mythbusters, the Cloud Edition. And I'm a huge fan of Myth Mythbusters, and I love that it's a great show that's filmed locally, and they do outrageous stuff that I could probably do, but would probably not walk away from. So uh, it's a great way to live vicariously and see crazy stunts be being done professionally. And uh, so we're going to get some common myths with building an app. So ultimately, this is more of uh, setting the stage contextually, uh, especially with the parade of great case studies that we have uh, the rest of today and tomorrow. So really, again, it's about a paradigm shift. And what we're really focused on is to create the context so not just on what to do, how to do it, but really on why to do it and what's the motivation behind it. Why is that important? So we, again, really want to focus on uh, expanding your mind into what's possible. So that's the goal there. So ultimately, everything is uh, a problem to be solved. And we're all entrepreneurial. We're trying to take care of business. We're trying to leverage things, trying to scale. And we want to deliver value to the marketplace in that fashion. So. Uh, ultimately, none of us are trees. We can learn new ideas, we can try different things, we can take risks and learn from that. So that's the motivation for this presentation. And ultimately, we think the grass is greener on the other side. So take a shot and see how it goes. All right, so let's jump into myth number one. And a lot of business owners and uh, uh, different folks start out with this. So they think a spreadsheet is the end all do all. And to a certain extent, it really is. Uh, it's been incredibly powerful, and spreadsheets have come a long, long way. So back in the day, uh, if you were doing handicaps or you were watching, um, trying to get a look at manual stock tickers, uh, it was a lot of chalk, a lot of cells and rows and columns, and it was pure madness. So if one value was changing, maybe you have to change other values. If you're doing finance calculations, calculating NPV, internal rates of return, it was an absolute nightmare. And uh, so on the left-hand side here, we have a picture of uh, uh, some odds and stuff. And on the right-hand side here, this is the original kind of, I guess, table or sketch of uh, Harry Potter. So um, presenting data and organize, organizing data in this way uh, works to a certain extent, but has tremendous limitations. So uh, thank God the spreadsheet was invented in 1979 by VisiCalc. So, uh, this was uh, one of the killer apps for the Apple II, and this was uh, a big, big boon, at least for the finance industry, and just having cells that would talk to each other automatically. It was just amazing. So that was a huge, huge improvement. And then, uh, but you know, if you have a lot of spreadsheets and stuff, I'm sure you've tried uh, emailing a spreadsheet, you're putting a version on it, this is 1.1, 1.2, 1.3 1 final, 1.4 draft, and as you're sending these different versions and you're editing it, trying to do collaboration, someone emails you the wrong attachment and you're updating, you're working on the wrong edition of the file. It's a nightmare. So uh, fortunately, uh, doing spreadsheets on the cloud has really helped. So this is just Zoho Sheets, uh, a Zoho Sheet if you've never used that before. And we offer that on the cloud for free. So if you want to check that out. And that's made collaboration a lot easier. So uh, basically presenting information with rows and columns has really come a long, long way. So uh, here's Willy Wonka and uh, a little sarcastic cynicism here. And uh, uh, yeah, so spreadsheets uh, can do a lot, but not so much on the collaboration and workflow front. And that's where a lot of things start breaking apart. All right, so that's myth number one. Myth number two is that you can buy all the software you would ever need. And while that's true to a certain extent, uh, if you ever try to buy a custom suit or have something tailored that's, that's, that fits you perfectly, uh, it's a definitely different experience. So if you have the mass market option and then you have the custom tailored bespoken experience and it's a night and day difference. So we really encourage you to really look at your needs and you know everyone is unique. Everyone, everything is very individualized and every business is personal. So we really encourage you to look at that and to honor that and that's important. And uh, sure, there's some cynicism about you know every snowflake, every snowflake is unique, just like every other one. But we really don't feel that way. That's why Soho Creator has been so great. From that point of view, 
we feel that business is incredibly personal. In fact, when you build a great business, it's the most personal thing there really is. It's a form of self-expression. It's you, your time, your investments. Uh, we really want to cultivate that experience, not just for yourself, but for the clients you serve, for the community. It, it's, a, it's a much more bigger and a, a bigger and interdependent thing. So that's why a custom app can go such a long way and just not transforming how you do business, but your culture, your organization, and your longevity, which uh, obviously Zoho runs on Zoho. So we hope that we're one of our own best case studies in this area. So that's myth number two. And myth number three here is that app building can be really expensive. And sometimes it's compared to um, having a boat. So what's the common joke? A boat is a hole in the water that, that, that you throw money into. And uh, a bunch of my friends told me, like, uh, the second best day in your life as a boat owner is the day you buy your boat. And the number one best day of your life is when you sell it. Any, any uh, sailors out there that can test to that? Yacht owners have boats, airplanes. So it's, uh, it's a different kind of game. It's a, it's a fun hobby, but expensive. So, uh, but building an app is not like that. So uh, fortunately, um, you're not dividing by zero. Your finances aren't going to implode. And uh, it's, not, it's not that bad. Uh, so the approach we take is the do-it-yourself approach is best not just to build it, but to really understand the architecture of your business, because you are responsible, you are accountable, and why shouldn't you know how everything works and flows? How, why shouldn't you know how every point is contacted, how every, how every data uh, is, is flowing in and out of the company? That's a that's great learning tool and also for training as well. So with the advent of cloud technology, this is infinitely easier than, than what was possible 10 or 20 years ago. All right, and also opportunity cost is important when you're thinking about finances. So think about the money that you're not making because you're not scaling correctly and you don't have uh, a better way to manage your business. So sometimes people just think of the initial sticker price and like think like, wow, that's really significant. But not doing that, not pursuing that is probably more painful. And it's kind of, it's much harder to imagine. That's a total blind spot for most people to think about opportunity costs. And if you've ever heard of something called Jahari's window, this is something that is not known to self, but maybe known to others or not known to either. And it's a complete unknown of an unknown. So we want to give you some insight into this area and to expand what's open and what's possible. All right, so our last myth is app building is really difficult. And it's not, because um, can anyone guess how many apps have been built on a Zoho Creator platform? Any guesses? Okay, we got a million. It's actually more than a million. Let's keep going. 1.3, 1.5, 1.7, Okay. Hyder, what's the count right now? I was told it was uh, 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 1.125, so. And another, another pop quiz here. What percentage of Zoho Creator customers are not developers or programmers? What number do you guys think that is? 100%. <laughs> no faith. Uh, 98, 60, 85, 65, 95. All right, the answer is 85. Uh, so ultimately, uh, with, I hope that gives you some hope. And everything is hard before it's easy. And uh, um, I had to look this up earlier, but uh, it ju you just have to build on this process. And earlier today, Hyder mentioned that it's a ir iterative process. I've never heard of that word. It's basically, it's an iteration. It's, uh, you just need to repeat the process over and over again. So it's really pursuing mastery and craftsmanship in your approach to building a business, which is building an app to build your business. So it's a continual process, and you never really quite end tweaking your app. I mean, lots of you guys are getting great ideas throughout today, and you're just making little tweaks. You're going to go see our one-on-one -on -one sessions and get more better ideas. And it's just an endless process, and that's a beautiful thing, and uh, it never ends. So, And uh, if you scale it correctly, uh, it's easier to manage as well and to train. And once you set up the logic, uh, you won't have to touch it again. So maintenance is not quite an issue as well. So app building can be really, really easy once that, that tree is planted and the foundation is formed. So, 
So what you have to do is just set up your logic, get all that in place, make sure it works, and then you can just get on your intellectual jetpack and fly away. Nothing to do here, and just take care of your business. All right, so with that, I hope that was easy and gives you some hope. And uh, ultimately, again, we want to encourage you to have a vision, to know what you're looking for, what you want to build. And just think about this quote from Steve Jobs, computers are like bicycles for our minds. And we're just encouraging you to think about your imagination, think about what's possible, and not worry about these misconceptions and myths about app building. All right, so with that, we consider all these four myths pretty much busted. And uh, we encourage you to look at Zoho Creator and really learn what it means to create. So thank you so much.